Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you for coming. My name is Aaron Sanchez, and I am the Division Chief of Patrol for the Denver Police Department. I'm excited to announce a new collaboration and really continued efforts by the Denver Police Department to build bridges with the youth in the city and county of Denver. After reading about a program in another police department where the chief gave, uh, put a basketball in every police car and, and encouraged officers to play basketball when they saw kids in the neighborhood, kind of inspired the idea for me to look at what we could do here in Denver. This idea is really about 27 or 28 years in the making. You see, back in 1996, my partner, Donna Young, who was later killed in the line of duty, and I were on bicycle patrol in West Denver. We came across, across a couple kids playing basketball, and we pulled the bikes over, and we engaged in a pickup game. Played 21 for about a half hour, and then afterwards, we really sat down with these kids and just had a conversation that we may have never had with these kids. I don't know how much the kids took out of that meeting, but it stuck with me for a lifetime. So with that, I reached out to the chief and I kind of pitched this idea about um, the possibility of basketballs and sports equipment that we can use for, for Denver police officers while they're driving around for spontaneous occasions when an officer would just see a kid playing ball um, and pull over and play with them. We know that um, response time is number one. It is very crucial. So I, I want to um, just emphasize the fact that this does not replace um, our calls for service. Denver police officers in patrol, main priority is answering calls for service. Um, but with that being said, on these spontaneous occasions, uh, we wanted to have this ability. The chief agreed, and so I reached out to a very generous person, um, who believes deeply in community, Christy Eisenberg. And I pitched this idea because obviously, uh, balls cost money, sports equipment costs money. Um, talked with Christy one afternoon, and uh, in just a couple days time, she reached out to all of her uh, fantastic partners uh, that we couldn't be more thankful. We know the public safety is best accomplished through strong partnerships with community connections. So after making these calls, we got the monies together and uh, we got what you see here, these balls here. So a huge thanks to really all of the generosity to Christy and Walter Eisenberg, the Denver Broncos, the Colorado Rockies, Millinder White, M.A. Mortensen, Walmart, and the Denver Police Foundation. The plan is that when the officers have a lull on their shift, they have these balls ready and they can engage with the kids and build these bonds that I talked about briefly. We believe these positive encounters will have a, an effect for years to come. We may never even know what those positive effects are, but we know over time these kids will see cops in a whole different light. That is our goal and that's what we're looking to do. We know that it takes a village. We as Denver police officers know that we are just one aspect of a community. We appreciate being part of the community in all aspects, not just enforcement, but outreach as well. Uh, many thanks again to our community partners. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Megan Fletcher, the Executive Director of the Police Foundation. Good morning. My name is Megan Fletcher, the Executive Director for the Denver Police Foundation. The Denver Police Foundation is beyond excited to support the Denver Police Department with their new, th new youth engagement program, Game On. Again, we are so incredibly grateful to our sponsors, Christy leading the way um, through this effort. The Oxford Hotel here was um, super supportive in helping us load in all of the, the product and the balls and, and allowing us the space to stuff the 500 um, bags of equipment that will now go in the back of the patrol vehicles. So again, to our sponsors, we are incredibly grateful for your continued support of this. We look forward to seeing our officers out there fostering positive relationships with those in the community they serve. It is through partnerships and entrepreneurship that Denver strives and survives. At this time, I'd like to welcome Mr. Ed Blair up. Thank you, Megan. On behalf of the Oxford Hotel and the Sage Hospitality Group, I just want to express what an honor 
it was for us to be able to participate with the Denver Police Department in such a meaningful and significant program, this new youth engagement program called Game On. It's partnerships with organizations like ourselves and the police that's critical in restoring a sense of safety and community. And we'd also like to thank the Denver Police Foundation and all of the sponsors for making today's event and the program such a great success. Thanks, Megan. Hello, I'm Jim Kellogg with Colorado Rockies Baseball Club. And um, the Colorado Rockies Foundation supports youth um, in our community and underserved youth. And we know that sport is a great way to connect people. We also know that playing a sport takes it to the next level. So when Christy called and asked if we would want to participate in this program where law enforcement officers connect with youth, we were all in. It was a great program and a great idea. So thank you for sharing that idea. And thank you for allowing us the opportunity to participate. When you're giving all those away, let us know and we'll reload. So thanks very much. Thank you. I'd like to open up for any uh, questions. Well, once again, we appreciate you being here and uh, thank you.